Uh, are you hitting on me? What? What? Hey, Internet, it's Jessica, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. We're going to be doing more loyalty missions as I want to make sure we got, you know, everybody's uh, characters intact. Also, I think for this episode, I'm gonna get the last squad member because you guys were telling me it's not about the amount of squad members you have, it's about how many missions you do. So I think it's safe to just go get the last person that I'm able to. I've been actually playing Mass Effect off camera doing some random side missions. So I did upgrade the ship quite a bit. So I'm gonna say that quite a bit. Also buying a lot of armors, different types of armors, upgrades for the weapons and stuff. So we are all good i think i completed everything off the ship though like all the upgrades i got everything so we're okay <laughs> before i leave though i think i want to do grunt's loyalty mission for this one since i just finished uh morden's in the last episode chamber said you're tearing up the place something wrong something is wrong shepherd i feel wrong tense I just want to kill something. Okay, let's not do that. With my hands. I mean, not in here. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to... I don't know. See? Why do that? What's wrong? Um, okay. First of all, I can't be like, restrain yourself because I don't even know what's going on with him. But there's nothing like imprinted in you? Maybe? Okir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles, voices of warlords, but this is a blood haze in my head. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus, but here my blood screams, my plates itch, and even you are just noise. I'm tank-born. What is this? I do feel bad for Grunt because... And, you know, like I mentioned in the last episode, I don't really understand everything about the Krogan culture, but I feel bad for him because he doesn't understand what's going on and how to act because he's technically genetically uh, born. He's not, like, born the proper way how Krogans are and then you grow up in the culture and blah blah blah. He has no idea what the hell is going on. And um, Okir just put imprints of him of what a Krogan is supposed to be. And... We, as humans, don't know what the hell that means either, so that doesn't help. He basically has to play a guessing game with himself, and that's kind of sad. Uh, I don't know if the AI would know. How about Rex? Can we go to him, now that we know that he's leading the Krogans? Don't know if I can help, Grunt. Sounds like we need one of your kind to look into this. Most off-world Krogan are warriors. Doctors don't leave the homeworld to Junka. I won't ask you to go there. I will control this. No, we'll go, we'll Joker go. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. No, this is good Thank because you, Rex is there. I don't like this. I, I feel Fury like Rex is, is a lot, choice, like, you know, easier to talk to. Because <laughs> we are friends. Okay, um, next time let's not headbutt the, the glass, okay? Because I, I don't want to go out into deep space again. We've already experienced that. Okay, before we go, however, I actually want to hop in on here and talk with Morden because he did say last time I'll talk to you later so I want to see if I can talk to him now Shepard how can I help hi have you got a minute to talk yes good timing in fact excellent made breakthrough can share results while next samples grow oh, hate what? waiting for culture analysis never fast enough usually no result in advance just checking work have to be careful getting off track discovery based on Prothean collector connection can examine technology chart reaper species modification fall of protheans okay yeah yeah i want to okay so what we learned about going on to the collector ship that they were actually the protheans originally but their their you know modif uh, their dna was modified to turn into the collectors tell me what happened early stages similar to indoctrination can guess captured protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations mm -hmm. cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward as protheans failed reapers added tech to compensate Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. 
Ah, uh, that explains a lot. Masters. And that's exactly what happened with Saren in uh, the last game. He was indoctrinated and genetically modified into this like hybrid of a, of an organic and an, a synthetic. So it does make sense how it was so easy to quickly manipulate um, all of the other characters in the last game, Benezia, uh, Saren, like all these other people. Same thing happened to them. And that's really sad. Can we help them in any way? Like, I imagine not because it's been been like this for a while now. Is there anything we can do to help them? No. No glands replaced by tech. No digestive system replaced by tech. No soul replaced by tech. Whatever they were, gone forever. Understand now? No yeah, art, I get no it. Culture that sucks. To husks than yeah, slaves, that's what I was gonna say. They're just reapers. a vessel. Protheans dead. Collectors just. Final insult. Must be destroyed. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the Collectors. Enjoyed challenge. Saw necessity of attack on Collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies, one wins, one loses, always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what Collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before, don't mean to imply that, just committed now. Won't let you down. Thanks, Martin. I know he's not gonna let me down, but he has to explain that. <laughs> you said the Collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Wait, you, you Gilbert sing? Gilbert Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural you sing? expression reflects philosophical evolution, interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in Collector Base. No. Culturally dead. Tools for Reapers. Worse than the Geth. Yeah, you say? No, but I, I, don't, I understand what you're saying. That, that's kind of like what, um, you know, a, a living being is. You have, like, a culture, no matter what you are. And it, it's it's just sad that that's what the Protheans are now. They're just a tool. But you saying? Can we get back to that? I'm sorry, I know that was important, but you perform Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. My <laughs> xenoscience studies range from urban oh to God. agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. He's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> that was adorable. Oh my God. I didn't know he sings. Wait, can you sing more often? Because I like how he's like awkwardly coughing, like this is awkward. No, that was cool. What is it about the Collector's modifications that bothers you so much? Disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Mm -hmm. Works other way too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. Your fault. You blame the Salarians for what the Krogan did? Yeah, he yes. did talk about like that. Like giving mm -hmm. nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight. Technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone. Worked out aggression. Been ready to use new tech responsibly. Instead, Salarians came. Disrupted Krogan culture. Used Krogan as blunt instrument against Rachni. Short-sighted. It's the Foolish. same thing. He's feeling the same exact thing because now he can see the Reapers use the Protheans to go against everybody else. And it, that's how it feels to him. Like, we did that with the Krogans and the Rachni. And he, I, I know, he feels extremely guilty. And like like I said, I still feel iffy about the whole thing with uh, using uh, or keeping the data, not deleting it. But the more I thought about it... Uh, I still think maybe it's better because there were a lot of Krogans who were willing to do that experiment. And like Morden was saying a lot of the times when we were talking to him in the last episode, this can't be for nothing. Like they can't be, they're, they're basically doing it in vain. So I'm hoping that there can be some good out of it. Not that I'm saying that I would want them to continue unethical experimentations, but I would rather it not go to waste. So I'm hoping that it will not go to waste, whatever the outcome may be later on. If you feel that way, why did you work on the genophage modification? Talked before. Best option. That or kill them all. 
If around during first contact, would have argued against it. Wasn't there then. Do what I can. Right, and and we, you, you guys know how I feel. We sometimes we have to make tough choices, which is what I think my shepherd is like too. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morden. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. Yeah, I'm happy, and thank you for singing. That was great. <laughs> that was so cute. Before I go, I haven't talked to Joker in a bit. Let's go see what he's up to. Probably fighting with Edie, of course. Commander, I assume everything's going well up here. This thing wants to fire me over a joke. Okay, I what? said I flashed the AI core, but I was kidding. And we'd only lose a few systems. Nosy ones. To clarify, human resources adjustments are not actually under my authority. Then why? Why are you always picking on me? My replies were intended to provoke, though not to cause distress. Your reactions are atypical of most humans. You are interesting. I think that's just saying Edie likes you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it beat you at your own game. I'm gonna joke with Joker. She pushed your buttons to get a rise out of you. About time you were on the receiving end. Yeah, great, I just got worked by the intercom. <laughs> it was not my intent to breed hostility, Mr. Moreau. But you did instigate our interaction. Oh okay, god. but think of it this way. Shut up. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. And Thane seems like the strong, sensitive, murdering type. You know, those are always great to have around, a real cuddler. <laughs> it's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to be spreading around. <laughs> yeah, because I, I did some side quests and I brought Jacob and Thane with me. <laughs> That's actually That's an interesting now. way of describing you, both of them. Okay, before we actually do Grunt's um, side or loyalty mission, I should say, uh, let me go collect the last party member that I'm able to, just because I feel like I should get them now, because uh, they're probably gonna have their own loyalty mission as well. And I don't wanna miss out on that. Oh my god, they're on Ilium too. So it's an Asari then, right? Because normally Asaris hang out here. Okay, let's see who I can bring. Um, let me bring... Let me bring Jack. And... Tally? I don't, I don't know, we'll just bring them. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, but I have to fly to freaking the Shadow Brokers, um, lair. I'm gonna see Liara, which I wouldn't complain. I want to go see my girlfriend, but I don't know where to go. Go to the transport hub. Okay, so that's probably where the cars are at. Ooh, Jack. Lots of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. This place is one bad day away from becoming Omega. I mean, yeah, I kind of agree. It's kind of like the same style of the way everything this works. Is Oh. I mean, you can sue the Citadel. I don't like those people, but I don't have to... I'm gonna have to not agree with the whole, you know, um, slavery thing. <laughs> okay, I think... I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren Did had we? given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I, I promised to help <laughs> you hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. Okay. How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus' hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Yeah, uh, do you need help? Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. 
Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. <laughs> why are you green? That's so rude. I know all Solarians are blue, but bro, let's not. <laughs> Tell me more about the contract the you for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. That's a I should have weird. known it was too good to be true. Right. But we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract, which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. It's, a, it's like an entrapment. Hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensation. Oh, I remember like this now. Pain. Sorry, it took it me so long. That whole colony that was like Thorian's going crazy scores. and attacking us. You can see why we'd want it studied. Right. And cured. Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue like normal Asari. Those health problems I said were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Okay. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. Um, all right. So I have to talk to, like, someone here? Do I talk to you? I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain Damn, about Jack has glasses on Zoom! <laughs> from Pharaoh's side. Just like I Bane. suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you so pissed? What's your problem with humans? <sighs> not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Okay, racist! Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy, the other oh, was a greeter for the Oh, no, no. Come on, that's not my fault, though. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people. Exploring That's why new she's cultures. being all racist. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I'm not a... Come I on, lady, this ain't right. Sending an amended contract. There we go. No more tests. Sometimes no people just need a talking to, you know? In this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Cause um often I've said this before, oftentimes some people who are hateful are hateful because they have no understanding or they're being ignorant, they don't want to listen to the other side. And in this case, she didn't want to listen 
because of her, you know, her, her bondmate and her daughter. We're both, you know, affected by it. And I understand it. I'm, I feel sorry for her, but it doesn't mean you gotta, like, enforce people into slavery because of it. That's so bad. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. Yeah, no worries. I don't think I could have... Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. Yeah, I'm really glad because they had an Can't option where you down. could kill them. I didn't want to do that. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Okay. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Uh, uh, are you hitting on me? What? What? Was she hitting on me? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Ma'am, I'm taken. <laughs> what the hell? Irinya won't even talk to the non- Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or- did she kill somebody already? No, what? What? Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. Oh, if she's I'm a Justicar! Oh, okay. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws. Okay, yeah, yeah. Usually stay in a oh, trust me, I know. <laughs> not used to dealing with aliens. Um, alright. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear. And a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Okay, fair enough. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human, do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect right. her authority? Right, they would you go can't even bad at a house, especially Udina. <laughs> it's a big diplomatic incident just Unders waiting to happen. Understandable. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions yeah. to follow I just want to reiterate Most in case anyone some forgot. Most long mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious. Yeah, I was gonna say sounds more like branch. religious. Than, no law right. abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain, and they die before breaking their oaths. Um. Okay. Uh. Let's go. All right, so now we gotta deal with this. Uh, she sounds a little bit scary, I'm not gonna lie, but who knows? Maybe she's not, but she isn't a sorry. They're kind of scary sometimes. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, detective. You're not going anywhere, merchant. Not until I saw this Wait, is this, this her? Word. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start Oh no, that's killing. not her, never mind. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. Jack looks so cool right now. <laughs> okay, everybody's staring at me. Why y'all looking at me? What's going on? What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. 
All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. Why is everyone nervous? Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. Wait, how is this gonna work is, with um, corruption isn't that Cerberus? Hard to find around here. Because Cerberus are very unethical with a lot of things that they do. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. Oh, that's why the, the detective, detective is here. The area, so uh, okay. have to talk with her if right. you want to go there. Okay, thank, thank you. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dagny Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them. But only in well-lit places. With my guards. And only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal item, and they are all cold-blooded killers. Why would these Mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. Yeah, okay there, I'm sure you're very him, innocent. So they must be after me too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dagny Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. Okay, let's see if we can uh, get through here or something. Nothing to see here. Move along. Where's uh, the detective? Is she in here? Police, she must be in here. Oh, here we go. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. She'll like our mission then. If you're getting her out <laughs> of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. Uh, why is she there? You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I uh, can. Ah, that's true, yeah, they, they can't Besides, really she's like... She's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. Right. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Um, don't follow that order. Samara sounds unprincipled. Bro, I don't know what to... How about just don't, because we need Your her. superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. Let's remember that next time Shepard sets us up against impossible odds. <laughs> That's about twice a day. <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> Most of the time, I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered Wait, a shepherd done really up. something stupid? I don't think so, not that bad. First. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back Oh, of lately. course there are. Oh, Jesus. You mentioned a crime scene? A Volus merchant was murdered. It was a professional hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse mercenary band. Can't prove it. But if the Volus was dirty too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They is control what some the back alleys around here. Too. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. 
What can you tell me about Justicars? They're a kind of... humans might call them warrior monks. They live by a complex code that compels them to punish the wicked and protect the pure. They've been a part of the Sari culture for millennia. I read adventure stories about Justicars when I was a child. What do you think of Samara herself? She's been a Justicar longer than three of your lifespans. Whoever she was before she swore that oath, that person is dead. Hmm. People seem nervous about Samara's presence. Asari admire Justicars, but we also know that they kill without mercy when they find corruption. And Justicars never leave Asari space. Why is she here? I doubt it's to investigate the murder of some corrupt Volas. I have to go. Okay, Good so th thank you. We'd better find Samara before the detective goes after her. Yeah, I agree. This is probably not going to be good, though. But it seems suspicious that the whatever the uh, deal what was going on, and the wall is getting attacked professionally. That's a little weird. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Area, let's uh, let's consider this extra stock surplus. Ship the rest to Thax and his normal destination. He'll never miss uh, a few lost pieces. Okay. Oh shit. Are we fighting now? Get the rest of Bravo Squad prepped. Alpha Squad went after that Justicar 20 minutes ago, and they've gone dark. Okay, so we've got gotcha. something. Gotcha. I'm here. All right, you guys ready? Damn. All right. Um. <laughs> Like a toy. Hang on, I gotta do synthetic. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry. Hey, good job, guys. Oh, I, I, I love. <laughs> I really do think they improved a lot with the Vanguard stuff. So I think I'm gonna go back to Vanguard in Mass Effect Three. I just wasn't sure about it when I when I first uh, played this, as I didn't know. So. I think it looks a lot better. I mean, it looks so much fun what Jack is doing, so I want to give it a try. Anyway... Oh, those were my best troops. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Damn, she's high! <laughs> you think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. Girl, wrong answer. Yikes. She kind of scary, though, not gonna lie. But she, like, hot, so that kind of, like, balances it. <laughs> Damn, alright! What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. Hi! I am Miss Amara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? Could be more than friend. <laughs> no, uh... <laughs> I don't want to be like you killed in cold blood. Will she like attack me or something? That Merc was wounded and helpless. You just kill anyone who won't help you? If my cause is important enough, yes. Are you different? Shit. I mean, am I really any different? Because I do kill people. But it's not a matter of like I just kill anybody willingly. I do try to talk with them, so... God, I don't know. I want to say I am, but not really. There's no really answer for this. I've killed enemies, but always with good reason. I answer to a code that is clearly defined. If my actions are true to that code, I am just. If they are not, I am unjust. I don't pretend it is a simple matter or that it seems right to everyone. But I sleep well at night, and that is more than most can say. How may I be of service to you? Well, ma'am. <laughs> Going up against suicidal odds, and I need the best. It's you. I sense the truth in what you say, and it humbles me. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. 
Who's that? I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Okay, hang on. Whoa, whoa, let's relax. Uh, the human is lost here. Me too! <laughs> when you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after one day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way. I am afraid so. Okay, let's not do that. Let's I don't want to kill any more people. Need. Let's not. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. God damn the code. Tell <laughs> me more about Justicars. We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel a sorry space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Damn, why do they make her so hot? Like, Jesus, Bioware. <laughs> Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari's face. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Her eyes are just so, space, like... But I must follow my oath. Beautiful! Like, like, holy shit! <laughs> A moment ago, you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? It's if the I code. Stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. A small chance is better than none. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Um, okay, uh, let's go! Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse marks are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may it's know It's that dude way we saw in the, the, the entrance, right? Well... I've got to get back to my station, and I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. You're welcome, ma'am. Just... yeah. <laughs> Jesus, okay, so we just gotta talk to that dude again. Alright, let's go. Pitney Four. Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? Okay, we're gonna have to be a little bit aggressive. You said you didn't know anything about all this. You got one chance to change that statement. What do you mean, Earth Clan? I'm just trying to get my goods off this planet. Oh, I oh I could have punched him, but no. The Eclipse are hunting you. You want to stay alive? I'm your best chance. Yes, you're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. Let's talk. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. Are you allowed to bring that here? Probably not, he said smuggle. I may have um, <laughs> forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. Yeah, it's karma. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. <laughs> Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. 
They are all dangerous. I, I don't disagree because they're kind of scary. Uh, you know? Attack Eclipse Hideout. In the elevator? Oh, now we can use the elevator. That was close off. Okay, so this should be fun. Mark. Oh, no shit. Stop me. Already? Alright, let's keep moving. I'll tear you up. Oh my gosh! Damn, that was an explosive? Sir, I can't confirm that the chemical compound will boost biotics. However, concentrated exposure will cause severe tissue damage. I recommend limited exposure. Wait, can we not, like, wait for it to go away? Is that a thing we can do? Where's Tally? Oh shit. <clears throat> shit, 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 They're right ahead of us. Oh my god. I'll tear you apart. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta heal, my dude! Oh, get down, get down! Alright, we did it, we did it, we did it! Let me try this. I got a new uh, upgrade. Let me see if the, how this works out. <laughs> I thought it'd be bigger, like a bigger explosion, but you know, that's cool. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ooh, new shotgun. Hang on. I can give that to Jack. All right, cool. Hello? Don't do it. Ma'am, don't do it. Wait, stop! I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. You're in an enemy uniform, and I'm gonna kill you. Whoa, whoa, Jack, Jack, I'm chill, chill. Them. I knew. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora, and you lost. Screw that, bitch! Damn! Okay, I was gonna give her a chance. She was playing! Oh, God, I could've got shot in the face right then and there. Okay, well, you know. We can use this. That's very unfortunate for this lady. I mean, props to her for trying, I guess. Watch your right. That's all I have to say. Ah, oh, Jesus. Too many, like, canisters. I'm good to go. Ah! Okay, we're gonna go 
boss this thing. I'll tear you apart. Got that close Been spotted. Oh, crap, here we go again. Whoa, shit! <laughs> wow! I can walk. Go. Wow, damn, alright, Jack, you got everybody already. Perfect. Gunship. Thank you. Hang on a second. Anybody else lurking about? Girl, what? Are we fighting that thing? Okay, hang on a second. Uh, synthetic? Ahead of us. Oh, this is like Garrus all over again. No, please. Oh, this is not good. We have to get closer. Uh oh! The girl. Bolus. A close exploding rounds blew the little bastard suit wide open. Oh! <laughs> I can't wait to see some real action. Next time I go home, my friends are gonna be so jealous. Damn, what the fuck? Elnora was the killer. I knew I smelled murder on that bitch. <laughs> Detective Anaya would be interested in this. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll tell her. Don't worry about that. Damn, I didn't expect that. She had no wonder. She was playing all innocent and everything. How many? They've seen us. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh. I should be using this. R1. You're getting that shortcut. I mean, thanks, Jack, but you destroyed my cover. It's all right, though. That's all right. Okay, this seems extremely unsafe. I just want to say that right now. Yeah. That is what I thought. I gotta run away. Ah. Ow! Fire in the hole. That's me, 
dumbass. <laughs> Drac, you're in the way. Move, dude. Manifest it shows that Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it does implicate the Volus. I imagine Detective Anaya. Yeah, at would least be we can help her. This. We gotta keep moving. Better than nothing, I guess. Oh, hello? doing I am a biotic god I think things and they happen fear me lesser creatures for I am biotics made flesh you need help is this guy on drugs you need help for you stand before the mightiest biotic ever yes the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying but then I began to smell my greatness. <sighs> Shepard's like, what the fuck? <laughs> they may laugh when I fall over. But they don't know what I know in my head. That I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Can we just knock this guy out? Are you part of Pitney Force trade group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He hasn't reported your disappearance. <laughs> probably so his departure won't get delayed. Oh, when God. the chips are down, even your friends will screw you for an extra cred. Yeah. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasaya about like a rag doll. Shepard, he can barely talk, much less fight. I will tear her apart. Wait, is he offering to My help us? My biotics are unstoppable. Is it bad if I bring this guy? But he does kind of need help. He's on drugs. You should lie down. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think he even knows what's going Wasaya on. Wasaya will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Sir, Please I'm telling you, this is not a good idea. Will be the last step. It's for his own good. But, great wind. Biotic god. I'm... I... What was I saying? He probably would have died if we brought I'm him with us. Tired. You may be right. Yes, well, I'm tired. I'll nap. Destroy the universe later. Nicely done, Shepard. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving. Kinda low-key think that Jack wanted them to come with us just for the jokes. Okay, um... I think we're all good here. This oh Jesus, hang on. I might change my heavy weapon actually. I like the grenade launcher. Let's keep that. Okay, here we go. Oh, there she is. Look at her drinking. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. 
first a Justicar shows up. Now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. <laughs> this is not good. Well, good thing I brought Jack with me. Holy oh, shit, dude. Okay, ma'am, you're gonna End have it. to calm the fuck down. I'm just saying. Gotcha. They're all yours. No! They got her barrier off. Here we go! Gotcha! Oh shit! Oh! I didn't realize that she had like a whole bodyguard here. Sorry, Tally! <laughs> Wait, are they all gone? Oh no. Are we good now? I bet the name of that ship is in here somewhere. Yeah. Jessica is here, probably looking for one to send off the AMOL Demeter. I was happy to see her go. She chilled me to the bone. I just hope that Jessica doesn't mess up my operation. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. What the hell is Jack we doing? Go to the police station and give her the name or look around first. Let's look around. We get time. Let's there might be some, some you know, things that I can pick up. To be honest, I don't even want to give it to this guy. I kind of want to give it to Anya. Is that just me? Is that bad? Is that bad if I just give it to her? Wait, this is the dude that we knocked out, right? Hey. I don't know what they put in me, but I thought it was... Well, you saw. Anyway, thank you, Shepard. You're welcome. Your boss is an asshole, so I'm going to turn him in. <laughs> Thank you for removing the Eclipse Threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, merely out of curiosity, when you were poking about, mm -hmm. did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? I think I'll hold it. You never it. know when something like this might come in handy. If it might change your mind, Earth Clan. Returning that I manifest. I don't need money. I have enough money. If you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. Shut up. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. Okay, thank you. God damn, they made her too hot. <laughs> I am ready to leave immediately if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. Shh. <laughs> I expect you to follow or- No, I'm not gonna- The Normandy is docked near the main it's trading okay. floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. So sounds like, um, uh, what do you call those? Uh, oh shit. H hang on. <laughs> I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, just sounds like the oaths you I would like to kill you swear to, like a king or queen oath. kind of thing. That's what I was trying to get at. Um,. I mean, I to kill you when I'm not, uh, when I'm really, oh god, um, thanks, I guess. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company. Okay, question, because I'm just curious, so is she romanceable? I just, I just want to know. Not because, like, I'm interested or anything. Uh, it's just, I'm, I'm wondering. <laughs> I need to speak to the detective. Got your evidence, ma'am. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. You're welcome! Uh, here you go. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you've got there. Did I really have to throw it like that? 
but I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. Seriously? I vote for Shepard and any evidence she brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, you should have just gave it to the Shepherd. guy then! I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Yeah, okay, she's trying to shoot me! <laughs> I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I'm sorry. Uh... I have proof that Pitney 4 smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. Thanks! Alright, we got it. We got the final squad member that I'm able to record. I know there's one more slot, but I'm assuming that's a story mission because the it's like not lit up. So I'm assuming that's part of the story we'll get later on. But we got the final one that I needed to find. I'm gonna go talk to Samara because she's very interesting to me. Not because she's hot. It's just because she's interesting. Don't look at me like that. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. Your I like her I outfit, an and it's not because her team. boobies are out. It's Thank just like you. it looks really cool, like that neck piece. Yours. That is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. I can't wait to still use her on the field. Still don't know what we're when we hit the collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the this observation room. Dark. <laughs> Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. All right. Th yeah, yeah, good job, Jacob. <laughs> okay, let me go talk with her because she is very curious to me. She's on the observation deck, so I'm gonna have to like get out of here. Ah, here she is. Oh, she's meditating. I don't want to disturb you, ma'am, but I'm just. Hi! She looks so Shepherd, cool! How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. Damn, that's I a may long be rusty time. It, however. That's okay. If patient, I would love to talk. She's so cool! <laughs> how much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. Mm. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? Yeah, because it will it will hinder your uh, motivation to continue to complete the mission. I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Astra. I hope you will understand if I <laughs> wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. Yes, ma'am. Hang on, my you lights just freaking got knocked out. <laughs> my lights have like a timer, so sometimes they turn off randomly. I'm very sorry. I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. Is that- I'm assuming that's probably for her personal What do you quest? think of Cerberus? Know. I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. Okay, I like how the way you think. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. Mine too! <laughs> what are your impressions of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob is an earnest young man. Events will either forge him into a great man or utterly destroy him. Miranda is undoubtedly a hard woman. I respect her strength and determination. She carries many burdens and doesn't share them. Oh, with definitely. Yeah, I mentioned that in the beginning be. when I first um, encountered Miranda, but that's interesting what she said about. Do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? I believe I can use some of them to increase our fuel reserves so we can explore further. Shall I tell you what is required? Yeah, give me that. Yeah. Show me what it would take. Can I afford it now? Oh, I can't afford it. Let me get it. 
All right, cool. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode of Mass Effect 2 right here. Let me just get Shepard a drink. But I'm glad we finally got the quote-unquote final um, companion or squad member that I can get. Like I said, I think the last one, the, the impression that I'm getting for the last one is probably storyline based, so we'll, we'll get that later. This is nice to have another Asari on the team again. I, I just miss Liara, but she's so cool. Samara's really cool. I, I so far, she's kind of scary, but I like that about her, you know what I mean? But I do wonder how this is all gonna affect later on, because she did say, like, after this mission, I may kill you, so I don't, I don't know what's going on there. But, um, yeah, the next episode, we're gonna do more loyalty missions. I'm probably gonna start up with Grunt first, just because I wanna get it over with, um, since we were- <laughs> I'm already drunk. Since we're already, uh, dealing with Tachanka and everything like that. And I prefer if, uh, Grunt didn't break up the Normandy anymore. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Mass Effect 2, remember to leave a like, let me know in the comments what you think, and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you know when I upload the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!